Good day everyone. So this video presents the discussion on the topic course and bearing in trigonometry. Okay. So definition the bearing of a line is the acute angle from the north south line or from the east west line to the given line. So in figure A, so we have here so our reference is from the north-south or the east-west and then to the given line. Uh, so let's say for example, if we have line PA here, so line PA, the bearing there is north 45 degrees west. Okay, so line PA, so the bearing is north 45 degrees west. Then line PB, so, the bearing here is north 50 degrees east. Uh, then, line PC, the bearing here is south 40 degrees east. And then, line PD, the bearing is south 70 degrees west. Uh, so, that is how we read bearing of a line. The course or direction traveled by a ship or an airplane is the clockwise angle from the north direction to the line. So sometimes some textbooks use also the reference as the south direction. Na? Uh, but here in our discussion, our reference is the north direction. So we define the course or the direction traveled by a ship as the clockwise angle from the north to the line. Okay, uh, so for example, so here, the course of, the course of A here, no? the course of PA is 50 degrees. The course of PB is 134 degrees. And the course of PC is 315 degrees. So all measured from the north in the clockwise direction okay so we have the problems uh, we have here now nah? it is listed here uh, so problem one the heading of an airplane is 75 degrees and the airspeed is 240 miles per hour find the ground speed and the course if there is a wind of 40 miles per hour from 165 degrees. Okay. So, as you notice, the airplane has an airspeed, meaning when you say airspeed of an airplane, so that is the same as our speed of the airplane in still air. So, that is without the wind blowing. Huh? Uh, so, we have 240 miles per hour. But, the speed and direction of the airplane here is affected by the wind because there is a wind blowing at 40 miles per hour from 165. So the question is the ground speed. So the ground speed meaning the actual speed of the airplane as observed from the ground. Meaning resultant speed, airplane speed plus the effect of the wind. And then the second question is the actual course. No? So instead that the airplane is headed 75 degrees, because of the wind blowing, it will be shifted to another course. So what is the actual course of the airplane? Okay. So we can draw a figure. So the airplane is headed, headed 75 degrees. So this is the 75 degrees from the north. So, the airplane is heading in this direction at 240 miles per hour. But this is being blown by the wind from 165. Uh, so, we have here. Na? So, the wind is from 165. So, 165 degrees from the north. So, this is the wind blowing at 40 miles per hour. So, instead that the airplane will go in this course, then this will be blown. No? Blown by the wind in that direction. So, the actual course and the resultant speed of the airplane will be this one. Huh? Okay. So, what is the ground speed? Uh, so, 
this angle is 75 na so if this is 75 so this is 15 na? Uh, so take note that if we have here the angle 75 na? Uh, angle 75 here plus 15 so meaning this angle is 90 degrees na? Uh, so this angle is 90 degrees so the wind and the airspeed of the airplane forms an angle of 90 degrees uh, then we have the ground speed which is the hypotenuse of that okay uh, so to compute for the ground speed we will simply use Pythagorean theorem yeah so ground speed square equal to 240 square plus 40 square and the result is 243.31 miles per hour okay so what is the actual course of the airplane so instead of 75 degrees it will be blown in the direct this direction so it will decrease na? and the direction of the airplane here actual will be beta uh, so from the triangle i can solve for this angle theta uh, so i can use the tangent uh, okay so tangent theta is 40 over 240 and that is 9.46 degrees so angle beta is 75 minus theta and that is 65.54 uh, so the course of the airplane here is north 65.54 degrees is okay so that is about course na? problem 2 a motorist runs at a constant rate of 50 kilometers per hour from point a he travels in the direction due east to b for two hours then he shifted to the north direction and traveled to c for 1.5 hours then he shifted to the direction 30 degrees east of north. So, 30 degrees east of north, so meaning from the north, turn 30 degrees to the east. Uh, so, this 30 degrees east of north is the same as north 30 degrees east. Uh, uh, and travels to D for one hour. Find the distance A to D. So, the initial point of the motorist is at A and then the final position is at point T. So find the distance from A to D. Okay. So we will take each uh, path of the motorist one by one. So let's start with A now. The rate is 50 kilometers per hour. So starting at A, then he will move in the north, no? Ah, uh, east, no? He will move to the east direction for two hours. So we have that here. Uh, then he will reach point B somewhere here. So this is for two hours, and the constant rate of the motorist is 50 kilometers per hour. So meaning 50 times 2, so this is 100 kilometers. Then he shifted to the north direction. So travel to north direction to C uh, for 1.5 hours so 50 times 1.5 hours so this is one uh, this is 50 plus 25 so 75 kilometers then from C to D he will shift or he shifted to the direction 30 degrees east of north uh, so we have that here na? Uh, to point D uh, so for one hour so this distance from C to D is 50 kilometers uh, so point A then point D find the distance from A to D uh, so I will call that distance D na? so what is the distance D okay. so how will we solve it so I can resolve the 30, this 50 distance from C to D into horizontal and vertical. Na? Okay. So this is, this distance is 50 cosine 30 and that is 
3. And this distance is 50 sine 30. And that is 25 na kilometers. No? The unit here is in kilometers. Okay. So, I can solve for the total distance here from point A to point B horizontally or along the east direction. Uh, I can have also the total distance of the motorist from point A to point B in the north direction. So, that is 75 plus 43.3. That is 118.3. Uh, what have you noticed? I have formed here a right triangle with the two perpendicular sides, the legs, 125 and 118.3. Uh, so, by Pythagorean theorem, I can solve for D. Na? So, D squared is equal to 125 square plus 118.3 square. And that is 172.10. Okay. Problem 3. Two ships leave a port at the same time. So, ship A on a course of 32 degrees at 5 knots and ship B on a course of 122 degrees at 6 knots. Uh, by the way, 1 knot is 1 nautical mile per hour. No? Uh, so, 1 nautical mile per hour. How far apart are they after 3 hours? And at this instant, what is the bearing of ship A from ship B? Okay. So, we have the port, for example. Na? Okay. So, from this port, uh, the first ship, ship A, na, travel in the course of 32 degrees. Na? So, travel in the course of 32 degrees for 3 hours. Then, ship B travels on the course of 122 degrees. Okay. So, A is 5 knots and then B, 6 knots. So, for 3 hours, this is 15 nautical miles. And for 3 hours, this is 16 or 18. No? 6 times 3, 18 nautical miles. Uh, so, first question. Uh, find the distance between the ships after 3 hours. So, I will call that X. By the way, the angle between them or between their course is 90. Na? Because we have here 122, then we have here 32. So, if you subtract 122 minus 32, that is 90. So, meaning this triangle form here na, is right. Okay? Uh, so, we can solve for the by Pythagorean theorem. Na? Uh, so, or the x distance. x square is equal to 15 square plus 18 square. So, that is 23.43 nautical miles. Okay. So, the second question is, what is the bearing of A? So, this is A, na? From B at this instant. Uh, so, we'll solve for the bearing, na? Okay. So, as we see in the figure, this building is northwest, na? Northwest. Okay. So, I will call this angle theta from the triangle na? form here. Uh, then, this is 58 degrees. This is also 58 degrees, same as this, na? Okay. And this is the building beta. Uh, so, notice that the building beta is the difference between 58 and theta. So, I will solve theta by the tangent. Na? So, tangent of theta is 15 over 18. And that is 39.81 degrees. Uh, so, I can now sum. So, angle beta is 58 minus 39.81. And that is 18.19 degrees. So, the course of the or the bearing of the ship, it be A from B at this instant is north. 18.19 degrees west. Okay, so that is about course and bearing, na? So, follow for the next uh, video to come.